सोडियम कंपाउंड्स इज एंटासिड्स वी हैव सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट एन ए एच सी ओ थ्री विच कंटेन्स नाइन्टी नाइन टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एन ए एच सी ओ थ्री दिस अवेलेबल इज वाइट क्रिस्टलाइन पाउडर विद द सलाइन टेस्ट सॉलेबल इन वाटर बट इन सॉलेबल इन एल्कोहल द एक्व सोल्यूशन इज अल्कोलाइन एंड इट रिएक्ट विद द मिनरल एसिड विद अपर पर्सेंस यूज एज एंटासिड to combat systemic acidosis and as ingredient of the effervescent powders now there is no single antacid which is ideal the rationale behind combination is to balance the constipative action of calcium and aluminum containing antacid with the laxative effect of magnesium containing antacid now what are the various combinations of antacids available we have compound magnesium trisilicate oral powder now this contains magnesium trisilicate chalk powder sodium bicarbonate and av magnesium carbonate each 250 ml 250 g then we have magnesium trisilicate mixture that is a suspension containing 5% weight by weight of each magnesium trisilicate light magnesium carbonate sodium carbonate in a suitable vehicle with a peppermint flavor thirdly we have compound magnesium trisilicate tablets each containing 250 mg of 250 g of magnesium trisilicate and 150 g of dried aluminum hydroxide gel peppermint oil and methanol is added as flavor <coughs> protective and absorbent Now we have learned similar concept in topical agents, but there the application was topical. Now here, the protective are the substances which protect the exposed surface from harmful stimuli like kaolin, bismuth carbonate, and adsorbents are the substances which are used to adsorb the gases, toxins, bacteria. So here example is kaolin and activated chalk. So these we are using systematically. Have uses. They are useful in the treatment of diarrhea, in poisoning cases to adsorb the poison, to prevent GIT irritation. They prevent the entry of microbes in the body by forming a protective layer over the surface of body. We have bismuth compounds. The first one is bismuth subcarbonate, BiO two twice CO three. Twice, whole bracket H two O. This is a white, pale yellowish white tasteless powder, stable in air, affected by light, insoluble in alcohol and water, but dissolves with effervescent of HCl or HNO three. Used as anti-diarrheal, mild antiseptic and astringent in the treatment of duodenal and gastric ulcers, in the treatment of colitis. Also in cosmetics. Then the second compound we have is bismuth subnitrate, BiOH twice NO three whole bracket four times, BiOH. This is a white, slightly hygroscopic powder, practically insoluble in water and alcohol, but soluble in CO. Incompatibilities are with carbonate, iodides. salt of organic acids and reducing agents the next compound is sodium bismuth subgallate available as amorphous bright yellow odorless tasteless powder this is stable in air affected by light and is insoluble in water alcohol and ether when treated with mineral acid it goes into solution which decomposes And with alkali hydroxide, it forms a clear yellow solution, which rapidly turns red. Used as astringent, antacid, and protective. Milk of bismuth. This is known as bismuth magma or bismuth cream. It is a suspension prepared using bismuth hydroxide and bismuth subcarbonate. In water, contains not less than five point two and not more than 
5.8% of Di2O3, used mainly as astringent and acid. <coughs> we have kaolin. It is also known as china clay. This is a white, odorless, tasteless powder, insoluble in water, dilute alkali acids, available in two forms, heavy and light kaolin. This is incompatible with vitamins, enzymes and alkaloids. Used in the treatment of diarrhea and dysentery, in the treatment of alkaloid poisoning, in colitis, in cholera, food poisoning. And as testing powder of cosmetic preparations. <laughs>